And now we present you the press conference conducted by Natapanu Nopakun, the deputy spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at a meeting of the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration. Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of September 2021, and this is the English language summary of the press briefing for today. Uh, this is Natapano Nopakun, I'm Deputy Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So we have today in the Thai version Dr. Chobet uh, San from the CDC or Center for Disease Control, Department of Disease Control of the Health Ministry, giving us some updates and uh, recaps. Uh, he mentioned about Thailand being uh, globally number 29 now. Also in terms of infection ratio, as per 1 million uh, persons, Thailand has now an, an infection ratio of uh, around 21,000 21, per 1 million. Now that comparatively to other countries like the United States or India is quite low, wherein those countries have around 129,000 and 109,000 respectively per 1 million population. In Thailand, there had been some quite uh, a general uh, decline, uh, just in the same way that there is a general global decline in terms of the infection. Now, one good news is that the cases of lung infection in Thailand, as well as the patients with ventilators, had declined substantially. For patients, serious patients of COVID uh, using ventilators, uh, the number within the month of September had decreased from 10, from 1,040 to around 750 already. Now, for the vaccination progress, yesterday we administered quite a high number of vac vaccines. Uh, to be exact, it's uh, 811,000. 915, so over 800,000 doses of vaccine was administered yesterday. Now that, that makes the total number cumulative now at over 46 million in Thailand. Of that number, 811,000 doses yesterday, we have around 511,000 who had already received their second jab and the number of people who have received their first jabs is over 300,000 and that was for yesterday only. So the number of people receiving the second dose is now greater than those who have received the first dose. Uh, this means that we're making good progress towards the target of Thailand's vaccination campaign. Now in Bangkok, over 99% of people age 60 have already received their first dose. And as of now, provinces like Bangkok, Batum, Thani, Cha Cheung Sao, uh, Panga, and Ranong have already completed vaccination uh, way above 70% uh, in the age group of those who are 60 year old and uh, above. And many other provinces are accelerating their inoculation for the elderly. For daily numbers, we have new confirmed case today at 11,252. We have active cases at the moment now at uh, 129,000, over 129,000, uh, of which of that number, 3,464 are in critical condition, and as I mentioned, uh, 753 are on ventilators. So we have new confirmed cases at over 11,000, but we have new recoveries today at over 13,000, so a higher number. 13,695 new recoveries for today. We have new fatalities standing at 141. The fatality rate remains at 1.06%. We have also the uh, issue about the Communicable uh, Disease uh, Act uh, amendment, wherein yesterday, the 21st of September, the cabinet approved the draft amendment to the 2015 Communicable Disease Act. And this amendment is aimed at enhancing the effectiveness of disease control and accelerating the attempt to contain the serious, uh, a serious new outbreak. Now, this amendment will also serve as a new mechanism to replace the emergency decree in the country's battle against COVID. And moving forward, uh, should a serious outbreak erupt, 
the emergency decree will no longer be needed. Instead, this amended Communicable Disease Act will be invoked. Now, uh, the CCSA, uh, which is established under Section 7 of the Emergency Decree, will technically uh, no longer exist if the, emergency, the, if the state of emergency isn't renewed, and there will be an unofficial announcement on this matter when all related matters are approved. But in practice, at the moment, the CCSA will continue to function, although it may have to be transformed into a new body after the state of emergency is lifted. Now for the amended, the new uh, Communicable Disease Act, of course, that passed uh, through uh, cabinet as, as mentioned. Uh, now uh, the authorities will be adjusting the content of the uh, act, uh, fine, fine tuning it, and that will take uh, some, some time. So t for it to be in fully in effect, uh, it might be uh, taking some time. It might be uh, a little bit after October the 1st. So that was the information that we received uh, from the Thai language briefing just now. Also, there is the issue about the quarter four uh, reopening of Thailand, the opening of Thailand in quarter four, wherein uh, Dr. Chui Tsan uh, showed us a, gra a timeline, a calendar, on particularly on quarter four, which actually is from October to December. Now, there will be two approaches, which is the island approach, which has begun in quarter three, and the inland approach, meaning provinces that are inland, uh, which will start in quarter four. Uh, this opening should uh, be uh, by the 1st of November uh, through sealed routes. And in this island approach reopening in quarter four, it will include uh, Bangkok, uh, most likely in Bangkok as well. But of course, it, this depends on the uh, evaluation uh, to that date. Uh, the uh, quarter four reopening in the inland approach, aside from Bangkok, will include other provinces like Petburi uh, with uh, the uh, beach town of, of Hua Hin. It will also include uh, Chiang Mai. Uh, and the theme for that opening would be Charming Chiang Mai. It would possibly include Pattaya, and the theme would be Neo Pattaya. Of course, the considerations are very important uh, before that date in terms of the vaccine uh, percentage and other consideration before that this quarter four reopening uh, uh, be, uh, begins. Now in Pattaya, for example, the Pattaya mayor uh, revealed uh, that uh, for the theme in Pattaya, which is uh, Pattaya moves on, the sandbox there is on track for opening. Uh, the uh, other provinces that I mentioned are also uh, planned for that for that date. And according to the TAT, the Th uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand, the five provinces mentioned, except except for Bangkok, uh, are most likely uh, ready for the opening. While well, Bangkok, uh, we in Bangkok are aiming for reopening perhaps by uh, the time that uh, the numbers of the infections are lower and the considerations are made uh, to be to be fully ready. So as you can see in the news, uh, the, the timing right now is still not firm yet. It depends on the uh, consideration, uh, depends on the various uh, evaluation of each of these uh, provinces. Uh, we they have, they have reports about October, uh, but uh, according to the latest information, we should seek uh, the opening of these provinces uh, the latest, perhaps by uh, early November, but we'll see. We'll see according to the situation if this uh, date will actually change or move or not. Uh, it's still quite uh, fluid, but we're keeping you uh, informed uh, uh, on a regular basis. Now, lastly, before I end, I'd just like to mention that uh, towards the end of September, there are many gatherings and social gatherings and festivals uh, in Thailand including uh, religious uh, religious uh, merit making festivals like the Katina Katina or Katin uh, festival um, as well as uh, various uh, festivities uh, for those who are vegetarians for example in Thailand that's a tradition also uh, a it's the season wherein it's the retire retirement season in Thailand as well so all the social gatherings would have to take precaution because of the COVID situation. So basically this is what I have for you today. The important uh, point is of course about the uh, act, uh, the new act on 
uh, disease control uh, that will hopefully soon be in effect and therefore the emergency decree uh, will not be necessary uh, anymore. Whatever measures that come out uh, because of the, uh, uh, the, the non-use of the emergency decree will let you know in due course that will have to be considered and whatever issue or measures come out from the new Disease Control Act will keep you informed as well. Uh, an important point is that in Thailand, just like in around the world, uh, we're seeing a relatively uh, global decline in the numbers, which is good news. Uh, so with uh, that note, I wish you all uh, safety and, and uh, health uh, for the rest of this week, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much, and Swadi Kap. And that was Natapanu Nopakun, the deputy spokesperson for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, giving us the updates on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand.